Hi guys, my name is Solon and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my first ever video I'm making and today we're going to be talking about a fundamental concept while analyzing circuit, which is basically sequential switching, right? So I'm kind of sick today, so if I cough in between the videos, sorry. <laughs> so first thing first, we're going to read the question, of course. So we have this figure. Switch A has been open and switch B has been closed for a long time. So we have this is open and this is closed for a long time. And after at t equals zero, we close this and t equals 25, we open this. So we have to find the current across the inductor for time greater than zero, right? <coughs> so I'm assuming that you guys are already familiar with the concept of inductor and how it charges and discharges and the equation related to it and how, you know, like opening a switch affects the or like this charges the uh, current in the inductor and all those stuff. So I'm just gonna go straight up into solving the uh, solution, I mean the problem. So first what we have to look at is find current at time equals zero, right? Uh, the reason why that is because in this technically we're trying to find like um, current across uh, current for that for time zero and uh, 25 milliseconds right and to find the time greater than zero it's basically since v equals l di over dt the rate of change across of current across the inductor can't be instantaneous you know because if this is instantaneous then we're going to have derivative of that going to be infinity and then l times infinity we're going to have infinite voltage which is not possible. So basically, whatever the current is there at t less than zero has to be equal to t greater than zero. Slightly, like after a slight time, you know, it's not like t less than zero is going to be after like one millisecond, it's going to be saying no. I'm just saying like in a moment, you know, just like the slight time framing, it's going to be the same thing. So to find i zero, we can just analyze the circuit when t is less than zero. <coughs> So in less than zero, what we have is this circuit here. So the current, I'm just gonna like write it here. So the current, we ignore this part, this has been closed. So we have this full circuit like that. And of course these resistor and this resistor, right? And the current source. So to find that when this is closed, sorry, I'm just gonna use a different one. So when this is, no, 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 it's open, right, first. So when this is closed, so the rate of change of current here is constant. So this is technically going to be like ideal wire. So current across this, since the current always flows through least resistance way, so it's going to be same as the source current, right? So we get 75 milliamps, right? And at t equals zero, we close this switch, but it's less than 25, so this switch is still closed. So what happens is, if you think about it, the current source is disconnected from here because the current just flows through the short circuit and then goes back. And then we have the inductor here that's gonna release the initial current. So how it goes is, it's also connected to a short circuit, so it's gonna flow across this as well. So we have the equation I L equals <coughs> I zero E negative. Sorry, just give me a moment. Yeah, negative T over tau, right? So tau is basically L over R since we know that there's no resistor connected to it because the current flows straight up to the short circuit. So L is essentially 10 milliamp millihenry, so 0 0.01 divided by resistance is zero, so we get tau is infinity. So the equation is basically for T less than 25, these are in terms of milliseconds, we get I L equals 75 e to the minus t over infinity milliamps right 
So the question is asking, so yeah, so that's the, we got like after between that, right? What if we want to find the current which is greater than 25? So when time is greater than 25, we use this equation to find current at 25 milliseconds. That's essentially going to be the initial current after 25 milliseconds. And then again, we analyze the circuit of how it behaves after it, right? Because after 25 milliseconds, this switch is going to open. So we're just going to be left with this part of the circuit, right? So let's get ahead and analyze this. So we plug 25 into this. So 25 divided by infinity is going to be zero and 75 divided by one is 75 milliamps. So the initial current at 25 is going to be 75 milliamps as well. And then we look at uh, the equation is tau over T over tau. So we find tau is basically, we have this, right? We have L is, <coughs> sorry. So 0 0.01 and then we have uh, the resistance is 500 so what we get is 20 microseconds right when we do the calculation and basically uh, the equation is 1 over tau is we get 50,000 so the equation we have after 25 is 75 e to the power of minus 50,000. And since the initial time we're uh, opening the circuit here is 25 milliseconds. So we just add, subtract from the initial time, which is 0 0.025. And these are in terms of milliamps, right? So basically, this is the equation we get after time is greater than zero. So we have this when its time is zero to 25 milliseconds and this when uh, time is greater than equal to 25 milliseconds. So I hope you guys understood the concept of sequence of switching. Uh, this was a pretty uh, easy example, so if there's anything you would like, guys would like to solve it, uh, com comment down below, or you can just like post a question of the link or like anything, you know, the image, and then I'll take a look at it and I'll try to solve it for you guys. And that's pretty much it. And I'll post another video probably next week on the next topic, which is going to be RLC and how that, you know, like adding inductor and capacitor and resistor in the same circuit and I'll talk about that in the next video. Thank you so much guys for watching.